we're in Edgware again. Yes. This is the church of St. Margaret's, which has been here a very long time. Now, I've gone past this church, like a lot of us in the area, many, 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 many times. But I thought today that I'd have a little look in the graveyard. So I just wanted to see what it was like. And I found a really amazing spot, a place that hasn't changed in a very, very long time. And of course, Edgware has changed over the recent years and there's a lot of changes going on some of them not quite so good which we'll see later but uh this is a lovely little spot we've got some really old oak trees um it's here. It's lovely you can hear birds singing you can hear the traffic in the background but it's a really nice place that i might come to more often when i'm here because it's there's no gaudy signage no, there's no litter and you know all the things that need to be better about edgeware and this is a nice spot. We'll move on to some things which are not quite so attractive that we might want to try and do something about if we can. So uh, over to that. This building was well, the back of the building is the railway hotel in Edgware which about a year ago we did a video and we talked about how it was in a terrible state the roof was burnt uh, there'd been a fire and there was covering over it that's been repaired um, but it's still in a terrible mess and that's because a few months after we shot that video the owner whoever he is um, had some work done um, and it looked like it was all systems go and it was going to open as a restaurant in April we were told and then in the summer everything seemed to stop work's taken place but now it's just fallen into dereliction again and it's got a whole lot worse as the footage that Roger has shot will point out there's graffiti there's lots of broken windows I can't quite understand why the owner had spent loads of money refurbishing it but perhaps as a hint to the area I'm standing in, which is a site originally of a business called Charles Wright, who were metal workers who used to make number plates. Uh, and this is now a uh, flight tipping. And this apparently is going to be the site of a 180 space car park. If you look at the proximity of this to that, and then over there where there's building work taking place, See if you can make some rough ideas of what possibly could happen. I'm not saying anything, but let's use our imagination. Because if that building wasn't there anymore, it's grade two listed, it's protected, but if it wasn't there anymore, suddenly you've got this bit of land, that bit of land, that car park, and potentially all this lot over here, which is a bit run down. And if you've ever been to Conondale, you'll see how the developers have done all sorts of crazy things there so um, let's leave you to draw some conclusions to that one if you're upset about this contact your MP contact your councillors contact Barnet Council contact English Heritage contact Historic England but I'll have to say for me and I hate to say this I am now at the end of my stuff with this because I've been going on about it for ages on Twitter we did the video last year I had hope that things are getting better, but basically I've done everything I can do. I can't do anything more. People say to me, oh Mark, do this, do that. What I'd say is, guys, it's over to you. If you care about this, if you care about this, you do something, okay? And that's not me getting angry. I haven't given up. I don't, it's not like I don't care anymore, but I just, I can't do anything more. I'm really sorry. So there you go. The floor is yours, guys, or something approximating to an urban wasteland. This is yours. Mm -hmm.